Hello, welcome back. Today a video about Can. Two records from Can. Tago Mago and Iggy Bamyasi. Give me a second. Here is Igebam Igebam Yazi. I have gotten extremely lucky with my two original first pressings from, from Germany. I'll go into this uh, in a second. But maybe first let me talk a bit about Can. Because uh, again, this is not far away, <laughs> although almost a universe away. It's Cologne, 30 kilometers from Düsseldorf. But please consider one thing, and that's what makes it difficult. There is this huge, huge, huge rivalry, rivalry between Düsseldorf and Cologne since centuries, since the, the Battle of Worringen in the Middle Age. We fought on, the, on different sides in the war, and since that day there is this rivalry between Cologne and Düsseldorf. But I have to give to Cologne Can. Can comes from Cologne. And Can is one of the most iconic crowd rock bands that is out there. It's a fantastic band. It's 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 a stunning band. You know and 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 they started like like a lot of those crowd rock bands in the very late 60s early 70s with the idea of creating something new something that can be called music from germany and is not schlager you know in germany at that time everything was fine calm wealthy and also the music has to be nothing but nice and that you can and that is Schlager and the youth of that time they detested that they said we have to create something and out of this movement this so-called later from the from the British music press uh, uh, so-called crowd rock and, and can is one of the main of the main bands of, of, of this of this music and and can is, is is very typical all those rhythm driven but but not as noi so also with the singing of Damu Suzuki they also put a lot of mood and melody into into their stuff and on the other hand so typical because they didn't do their music to impress with with craftsmanship that nobody else can do. They just wanted to have fun and create an atmosphere and let's go go for it. Go for it. And the, those can albums are iconic releases up until today. A typical story, a typical story how 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 that time must have been is how uh, uh, Holger Chukai and, and uh, Jackie Liebezeit, the drummer, Liebezeit and, and Chukai, the bassist, found the singer of the band. They were looking for one and discussing it in the streets while walking through Cologne. And then there was a street singer. And then I think Liebezeit said to, said to uh, Chukai, we have our new singer. And then <laughs> they have found it on the street as a street singer. I don't know if that story is true. I don't know. That's what they say. But there is no other story. So let's let's assume this is true. But but when you listen to this music, it it fits. It fits in a way. It's unbelievable, creative, easy, and well, well, well made. Also, these, these musicians, Chukai and, and, and uh, Liebezeit, 
they 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 kept this easiness, this openness. For example, uh, uh, Liebezeit did collaborations with with Mouse on Mars, an ele iconic electronic band, or Chukai with his collaborations with David Sylvian. So they keep open. They they have been, they they lived music, and that's what comes through their music. Okay, but now let's get into my yeah grails. I think I've I found some grails with my let's start with the Iggy Bamyasi. This is my German first pressing in an unbelievable, unbelievable beautiful shape. Here is the vinyl. One click. I've listened to the thing two times and there is one click. Beautiful. And again, something special with this copy. It has the original inner sleeve in an outstanding, in an outstanding condition. You know, usually you you only get this one totally wrapped up, but this is a beauty. Something very common on, 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 on those, almost like you can say on those crowd rock releases, early germ, is this, uh, come on, get sharp. You see this? Uh, here, you now you can see this. This is the lamination that, that uh, uh, gets uh, uh, away from, from, from the paper. But as Günther from Minty Vinyl, this is where I got my record from, it explained to me, this is nothing, he said, and this makes it a very, very special copy. You have this problem throughout in, and in, in, in way, way, way uh, 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 worse form. So this is, looks like a, a, a stunning copy and I can second that. I put it on my, on my uh, uh, turntable and it plays like new like new okay this one pop yeah i i i mean we're talking 50 years here so <laughs> it's it's astonishing again i've said that it's astonishing how beautifully a lot of people keeps their records it's it's astonishing before we go into the comparison uh, against the uh, reissues let me just talk about the second album I will put into this video. And this is my copy of Tago Maso, Ma, Ta, Tago Marco, sorry. Again, maybe some of you have seen my video about my first record fair. And this is it. This is this one I've gotten over there for a very, very reasonable price. Very reasonable price. It plays... Ah, Fantastic, fantastic. Uh, this one goes for, I've looked over at Discog, the highest price is 750 euros. Yeah, those, those crowd rock, those crowd rock releases in a good shape, they are quite heavy priced. I, I can tell you that. And I think that a lot of people, a lot, a lot of collectors re- uh, 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 um, the go back to it again and, and that makes those copies quite collectible and, and, and there are not that many out there anymore of course. I mean it's, it's, decades has been gone since they have been there and so one might say it's good that they are out there again. Here is the remaster double album very beautiful although not as detailed as the original you can see that this is the original see there is it's not the original is the better the better print but still it's out there on double vinyl same goes for the Ege Bamyasi here we have the repress on shiny green vinyl here you go so at least 
you have the opportunity to get back into this music, to, to listen to this music. I will put down uh, 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 links for the, for the remasters. And you know what? I will also put links to the original on Discord so that you can have, a, have more information if you want to. So, now for the compar comparison. Let's start with the Tago Mago in this case. The original has an unbelievable sound because I've never heard such a sharp metallic record. You know, it's almost that I don't listen to vinyl. It's almost like I listen to metal, <laughs> the material, not, not the, the, the music. Um, it's so, boah, the, 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 the drums. Oh my God, they are so sharp and so prominent and so detailed. But still, somehow, they manage to keep the whole group perfectly together as a unit, sound-wise. I mean, you know, it's, it's a stunner. It's a stunner. <coughs> Excuse me. This is an incredible experience to listen to this record. I've had, I've, I haven't heard anything like that before. And of course, this is for sure a choice of Ken, the master engineer, the mixing engineer, because you can imagine this is important to them. That's, that is what they put out. And, and you can imagine how involved they are when it comes to the sound of the vinyl. And there only has been the vinyl in a way. And so this is a striking experience. And then I put on the remaster. And the remaster is, yeah, it's like a distant idea, a distant thought, a distant memory of the original. I have to say it that way. This specifics, this very, very, very specific sound is not there. It doesn't have it. It's a good sounding album. Again, when I would have put this one on onto my record table, I would have said, oh, it's a good sound, beautiful sound stage, nice dynamics, yada, yada, yada. But the original has an original sound. And this is lost on the, uh, um, on the, on the remaster, which is quite astonishing. But it is as it is. What, what, what can I tell you? What can I say? That's my verdict. If you want to get an idea of this album, the, the, the remaster is fine, very fine. No doubt about it. If you want to hear the idea of the music, the, the, the idea of the time, and what it makes so very special, you have to get into the early, the first pressing. I don't know how the other pressings are, the very, maybe, but this, this original is, is, is quite an icon. Okay, now let's get into the E.G. Bamyasi. It has a different sound. It has not this metallic sound, but it has an incredible, beautiful, punchy, dynamic, almost live. It's almost like a live concert in, 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 in many aspects. It's, again, a stunner. I, I would say, when, but with both of those originals, they have an iconic 10 out of 10. Damn it, damn it, they have done a great job in that time. This, these are killer sounding albums. Yet again, the, the remaster, good one. The difference is not as big as with the Tago Maso, but still. You know, don't ask me if I have done a blind test. This, 
this is really not necessary. It's so obvious. It's so obvious, really. Of course, I, 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 I do this level measurement. I have this. I, that's, of course, you have to do that, of course. But otherwise, it's so obvious. It's so striking. And um, yeah, yet again, the originals are hard to beat and it doesn't happen that often. It still is, of course, a case-to-case -case thing, but I'm, I'm, I'm quite sure that when we get into the 70s and 80s, where they used different master tapes and did, didn't use that whale oil and, and a lot of things probably changed. I really have to go deeper and deeper into it. But I'm quite sure that when it comes to this area, the, the records are very, very hard to beat. I, I, this might change in the 90s, early 2000s. In that area, I think that might change because they really put a lot of stuff on one record. The production process has changed again, but let's when it comes to the 70s, 80s, I'm, I'm quite sure, and, and of course we will continue, I will continue this journey deeper and deeper, because it's so much fun, it's so exciting. We will get a good picture over, over time. Okay, that's it. Thank you for your time. See you on the next one. Bye.